Welcome back. We will be discussing the technique for catheterization. So without further ado, let's begin. Urinary catheterization of male dogs are quite easy because you can see the urethral orifice. You can see where you're going to put the urinary catheter in. Since the animal is anesthetized, the person holding the animal will be retracting the prepuce to expose the penis. It should be disinfected again before you place your catheter. The catheter is then removed from its packaging and handled aseptically. A sterile lubricant is placed on its tip and it is then introduced to the urethral orifice and is gently advanced to the urinary bladder. If you feel any um, pressure or urethral spasm or constriction around the catheter, that is normal. Just stop advancing and let the spasm finish. Then continue advancing gently until you see urine come out of the other end of the catheter. This means that the tip has reached the urinary bladder lumen. Now, if the bladder is empty or you expect it to be empty, do not wait for the urine to come out. This is where the pre-measuring of your urinary catheter comes in very handy because you don't have to put too much of the catheter to know that there's um, that you are in the bladder. If there's no urine there, no urine will come out. Now, once urine comes out, you may now start aspirating the urine from the catheter with a large volume syringe, as you can see right here. You may also place gentle pressure on the lower abdomen where the bladder is to be able to drain more urine. Sometimes a little uh, shaking of the body of the animal helps to dislodge um, any gravitational pull on the bladder. Um, if the catheterization is done only to drain urine, then you may connect a syringe and aspirate urine until negative pressure is felt. Negative pressure is when you try to aspirate and the plunger keeps on going back on its original position. Urine collected from a catheter that is aseptically placed is what we call a sterile urine sample. This sample, along with the urine collected through a cystocentesis, are the only urine samples which can be used for culture and antibiotic sensitivity testing. A free catch or yung um, umiihi yung aso and then sasahurin mo lang ng urine cup, must, that sample must not be used for culture and sensitivity because it can easily be contaminated by the other bacterial flora in the urethral canal and the prepuce or the vulva. All right. You could use that sample to check for stones, but not for culture and sensitivity testing. For females, though, it is much more complicated. Why? You cannot see the urethral orifice. It is very deep into the vaginal canal. So if, uh, if you have a vaginal speculum or a vaginoscope, as you can see right here, this can be gently inserted through the vulva to find the urethral orifice. By the way, where is the urethral orifice located in the vaginal canal? Is it on the dorsal wall or the ventral wall? Hmm. Try to remember the anatomy. It is located on the ventral aspect of the vagina. Oh, sorry, the vaginal canal. The sterile lubricated tip of the urinary catheter is then guided into this urethral orifice and it is gently advanced to the bladder until urine comes out of the proximal end. That Well, that seems simple, right? You just put a scope in, um, check where the orifice is, then put the catheter in. But what if you don't have a vaginal speculum or a vaginoscope? What if you don't have those instruments? How would you catheterize a female animal, especially a female dog? Will you just not catheterize the female urethra? Oh no, there is a way. In the absence of those instruments, you may catheterize a female urethra using digital palpation. After aseptically flushing the vaginal canal, insert a sterile 
lubricated finger of your dominant hand between the labia of the vulva, you would feel a muscular thickening marking the junction of the vestibule and the vagina. You would find it hard to advance your finger more cranially than this thickening because it actually narrows the vaginal canal. The urethral opening is located just caudal to this junction. With your non-dominant hand, grasp the catheter near its distal tip and gently insert it ventral to your finger, as you can see right here. It is ventral to the finger of the person. And hold on. All right. And your finger would actually plug the junction, um, which prevents the catheter from advancing into the vagina and uterus. Rather, it will go into the urethral opening. Your finger, which is already inserted, must now push the catheter gently and slowly along the ventral floor of the vestibule to the urethral opening. Once you cannot feel the catheter anymore under your finger, then it has been successfully placed into the urethra. Continue advancing until urine comes out. Pre-measurement, again, would be advantageous if the urinary bladder is expected to be empty. Now, if your goal is for continuous urine drainage, again, you would need to connect it to a urine receptacle. And the catheter needs to stay where it is. But how do we do that? We will discuss how to secure your catheters in the next video.